now let's talk about the equilibrium condition okay let us first define what is a equilibrium we say that a body which is being acted upon by a system of force is said to be in equilibrium if the body does not have a tendency to either rotate or to slide okay so basically the body is at rest or it's moving with a constant velocity okay let us take a look at this body over here now this body is being acted upon by a system of forces right we know that a system of forces can be reduced to a single force couple system okay so if this body is to be in equilibrium if you are saying that equilibrium conditions exist then this body must not have any sliding tendency or any rotational tendencies okay we know that rotation is due to the moment of a force right and we know that sliding tendency is due to the force itself okay wherever you have a net force acting in a particular direction you have a tendency to slide in that direction therefore this body is in equilibrium if you have the resultant equal to zero and you have the moment of that resultant equal to zero as well if this is the case then this body would not rotate and this body would not slide okay these two are very important conditions that you are going to use everywhere okay so just remember this a body is in equilibrium if the resultant of forces acting on that body is zero and the moment of that resultant on any given point is zero as well okay this point can be anywhere okay we know that we can reduce a system of forces to a force couple system at any given point okay so your moment of resultant at any given point should be zero for a body to be in equilibrium okay now let's talk about a specific case wherein we are having only two forces acting on a body we are talking about a equilibrium of a two force system okay so let us suppose my body is like this let's choose a different color my body is like this okay and there are two forces acting on this body okay one is like this okay let us call this as f1 and another is like this let us call this as f2 okay these forces i can have them in rectangular components also right so i am going to have this over here or uh, if we were to have a different color this over here is going to be f1x right and this is going to be f1y right similarly this guy is going to have a f2y right and this guy is going to have a f2x okay since this body is in equilibrium we must have the resultant equal to 0 okay so since r is equal to 0 what do we have we have f1 plus f2 is equal to 0 or we have f1 oops f1 x i plus f1 y j plus this is your f1 force vector right plus f2 x i plus f2 y j is equal to 0 okay or we can 